Hi students, welcome to Science Wise. Today we are going to study chapter 5 of class 6. The name of chapter is Separation of Substances. The first topic of the chapter is Mixture. Material which contains two or more substance in any proportion are called mixture. A mixture may be solid, liquid or a gas. Mixture can be solid also, liquid also and a gas also. The various substance present in a mixture is called component or constituent. See, suppose I have a mixture of sugar and sand. Okay, I have a mixture of sugar and sand and another mixture of water and salt. Okay, so in this mixture, sugar and sand, both are the components, right? Both are the components or we can say constituents of the mixture. Now, classification of mixture. See, mixture is classified in two categories. Mixture is classified in two categories. One is homogeneous and another one is heterogeneous. Okay? Homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. So, first we will study about homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture. Particles of the substance can be seen easily. It means particles of the substance are visible in such type of mixture. For example, see this is a beaker. Okay. This is a beaker. I have the mixture of water and sand. Okay. This is water and I can denote sand with brown color. Okay. See. And these are the particles of sand. Okay. So, the particle of sands are visible in water. It means it is a heterogeneous mixture. Particles of the substance can be easily seen. Okay. Example is water and oil. When we mix water in oil, so the layer of oil floats. Suppose this is again a beaker. Okay. We have this filled with water. This is the layer of oil. Oil is lighter than water. So it never mixed. It is known as immiscible uh, solution. Oh, sorry, immiscible liquids. Water and oil is a immiscible liquids. Okay. The layer of oil always floats on the surface of water. So, this is also easily visible to us. Water and the layer of oil. That is why it is known as heterogeneous mixture. Chalk in water. Pond water. Soil. Soil is a mixture of dead and decaying plant and animal. Mineral salts. Sand and clay. So, it is also heterogeneous mixture. We can identify all the constituent of soil. Right? Now, moving to the next topic that is Homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture. Particle of the substance present cannot be seen. It means the particles are not visible to us. In a mixture, the particles of the substance is not visible to us. For an example, if I take an example of salt and water. This is water. If I add salt to it. Okay? If I add salt to it. We, substance which we are adding, it is not visible to us, right? A very clear solution or a transparent solution will occur to us. Means a transfer solution will be visible to us. We cannot separate salt from water by C. But in heterogeneous mixture, easily we can say this is sand and this is water. Okay, this is the sand. See, in homogeneous mixture, we cannot separate, uh, we cannot identify separately that this is the salt particle and this is water. 
But when we talk about heterogeneous mixture, we will identify easily that this is the sand particle and these are the water molecules. Sand particles are specifically visible to us and we can separate it, right? In homogeneous mixture, we cannot identify that these are the salt particles in so, uh, sand and water. So, other examples of uh, homogeneous mixture is solution of sugar and salt in water, air, See beta, air is a pure mixture, mixture of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc. Right? Air is the pure mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and etc. Various other gases. Right? Now cold rings. Cold ring and syrup is also a mixture which kind of mixture it is a homogeneous mixture because it is a mixture of sugar color flavoring agent in water and we cannot separately tell that this is the constituent of uh, flavoring agent this is the constituent of taste right next we'll talk about pure and impure substances pure substance a single substance of a definite Composition is called pure substance. Example of pure substance is pure iron, pure gold, pure oxygen. Okay, we have some properties of pure substance. How we can identify pure substance, right? Pure substance always contains only one type of particle. Only one type of particle. It has a fixed melting point and boiling point. It has characteristics such as taste, color, odor. See, I will give you the example of gold. Gold has a color which is known as golden or you can say it as yellow. Okay? Whereas copper has a brownish red color. It is a fixed color of copper. Golden color is also fixed for gold. Right? See, if I talk about sugar, the taste of sugar is always sweet. Right? The taste of sugar is sweet. So, it is the fixed taste. It is the fixed property. Taste is also a fixed property. Color is also a fixed property of a pure substance. Now, we will talk about impure substance. A substance in which some other substance are present in smaller amount. See, some other substances are present in small amount is called impure substance. See, impure substance are actually the mixture. We can say impure substance are true mixtures also. The purity of substance can be checked by measuring and examining some characteristic properties such as taste, color. See, we can identify or check the pure substance by its color, taste, melting point, etc. Right? So, students, in next segment, we will study about purpose or need of separating the constituent of mixture. In this, we have learned about mixtures, classification of mixture. There are of two types. One is heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture, pure and impure substances. What are the properties of impure substances? Okay, in this segment we have completed with these many topics. In next segment we are going to study purpose or need of separating the constituent of a mixture.